my compass. Getting started. The goal of great planning is a great life, and we think the planning process should be meaningful, empowering, and maybe even a little fun. So we talk to people with disabilities, family members, and community leaders to see how to plan well. How do them get to know you? Get to know each other. Every person is unique, and good plans are custom built around a person's strengths, interests, and goals. If I know who Danielle is and what she would like, that made a huge difference. So how do you get to know someone better? Learning about a person takes time. Going to places where they're interested to be, with things that they love to do, and you know, noticing better. I know if there is a person you're interested in, hang out. Communicate, brainstorm. Bouncing ideas off of each other. Work together. You should be coming up with ideas as well. It should be a collaboration. Anybody can write a program, but knowing what that person wants and knowing what is, is good for that person comes from that person. I've asked to be involved in the planning meeting, and they've said, well, you don't need to be. It's not important that you're there. I said, well, you know, it's about me, or kind of you. Another key element with all of this is, is getting to know the person's history, right? And that's where family is so important in this. Be inclusive. A person's family or close friends often have years of experience planning with them already. He's like 31 years old now. So having that vision written down helps us stay focused on what we really want. If you don't have one, somebody else will create one. When you let others into your child's life, at times you may feel that it's admitting that you can't do things. And when really, um, it's not. Barbara is a support worker now, but her first experience planning was for her late son, Andrew. We wanted him to have a great life. We needed to be able to work together. Part of our role is to expand horizons. Be adventurous. A lot of times, um, people with disabilities haven't been allowed to go and explore, plan for that, and help people go and try things. You take a lot of risks. Oh yeah, we took them sailing. Oh, he loves the sailing shows, so we decided he'd be I'm a sailor. <laughs> so we took him sailing. People get really wrapped up on making sure that someone's safe as opposed to making sure that they have a good life. You want your child to be safe, but when it closes the door too many times, it's really challenging to find that balance. And of course, all of this requires good communication. Where we truly listen to people, which is harder than you think. Be a really good listener. 2014's Christmas party, I never got a call about no party, nothing, so I didn't end up getting a go. Bad communication can lead to a lot of problems, so what can we do to be a better listener? Asking is like a valid part for sure. Be curious. Good listening means putting aside your assumptions, being curious, and asking the right questions in the right environment. Where is it that the person is most comfortable? I would rather be probably more in my home doing it. Be a little more up and up and out. Patient. Be patient. Good listeners take the time to really understand. This is even more important if the person you're supporting is nonverbal. Some might not be able to speak. So they do sign language. Andrew didn't use words to speak. He had a language that was all his own. So take time to learn that language and notice those nonverbal cues. Listening isn't just with your ears. And then sometimes sign language doesn't work. So then there's pictures, you know. There's all the solutions for everything. Be humble. The fact that a person lives with a disability means that their life has had a certain kind of character and struggle has been uh, real. We need to plan with humility, notice people's strengths, and appreciate the struggle they and their family have encountered. And the worst thing with kind of really not listening to people is that we plan based on our own assumptions and biases. So remember, good planning is custom built to each person, so take time to get to know them. Work together to brainstorm ideas, and make sure you also include family or close friends. They'll have a lot to offer. Be adventurous, plan boldly, and work with the person you're supporting to try new things and expand their horizons. And remember to practice being curious, patient, and humble, so you can be a really good listener. Planning is not a once a year kind of deal, right? But mostly, it's just cash. We talk every day. Treat your clients with respect and try not to interfere with their goals. Keep the dialogue open and, you know, keep the people with disabilities uh, in involved. His life wasn't a program, his life was his life. 